What's up guys, Nick here with another unboxing video, as you can tell. The table's here for a reason, and there's an empty spot on my game table that involves gaming with the TV and everything. I traded in my Xbox for the item that we are going to get next and unbox. Get the box cutter ready, or utility knife. Y'all might think, what could it be? Is it a Wii U? Obviously not. Wii U's right there. But it is this right here. The PlayStation 4. Let me move the camera up a little bit. There we go. There. Got a PlayStation 4. I traded in everything I had to get this and a game that came with it. I'm pointing, but you can't say it. Game over here. So, I'm excited for this one. I actually like this a lot more than Xbox One. The reason why the Xbox One is gone is for this because I never had the opportunity and then I found an opportunity and I took it. So let's go ahead cut it up with the top right here with like one string of tape. I'm gonna open it up. Open it up. Alrighty then. Oh, everything's right there in the front. That's gonna be a short one. You got the little book right there. Well, how to, uh, welcome to the world of PlayStation. Yeah, I've been here before, dude. Then, uh, you have the brand new controller. Let's go ahead and get this out of the bag. And everything's just slipped right on out. I actually like it. You don't have to do that. You can do this. Pretty good triggers. You got the little touch screen right there. Take a good, t take a good look at it. Pretty cool. The circle pads actually feel much nicer. The button up here, the buttons right down there in the middle for everything. Then you have the lights that are going to light up up there for the blue. Pretty cool looking thing. All right, let's see if there's anything in that. No, I still have my Xbox One box up. I didn't take it with me. All right, so we have our little rinky dink little headset here, which not not going to be using. You have the power adapter that will plug into the back. This looks like the uh, charger for the uh, controller. Let's go ahead and open that up. Open that up right fast. Show you all a little bit better. A little bit, it's about the same length as the other one. Then you have the uh, HDMI cable that comes with it. Yes, every new console comes with it. Even the Wii U came with it. And it's a little longer. Maybe a little bit longer than Xbox One. Maybe a little bit. Okay, and I just showed that. It, it's just like the other one. No power brick, nothing. Just straight up, plug up to the wall, you're ready to go. Alrighty then. Now for the main events. Alright. The PlayStation... I know I have to back up here a little bit because the box is kind of in the way. So let's go ahead and uh, take out the little plastic. Get the box that way because we're pretty much done. Okay, where's the front? Here's the front, I think. Yes, here's the back. Here's the front of the console. Put a little bit of dust on it. Here's the front of the console, there's USB ports, the disk drive, and of course the symbol of the PlayStation 4. And the back is all your cords, HDMI, everything like that. But look, you don't need the camera to play it. Well, technically you didn't need the uh, other one neither. You didn't need the Kinect to play, but the Kinect... Uh, I'm going to warn you real quick. The Kinect wasn't worth it. It will catch your voice every one-fourth of the time, maybe one-fifth of the time, to catch and see what you're actually saying. Right. Now we're going to go for the game I also purchased. There was also a couple more, but those are pre-orders. Alright, this one still has a sticker on it, but it's new, trust me. Kills on Shadowfall. It reminds me of the band Shadow... Uh, I think it was called Shadowfall. What will you sacrifice for peace? As Shadow Marshal Lucas Keelan, keeping the fragile peace against, uh, across the vast wall dividing your home world, comes at a 
great cost. When tensions between the VSA, the VSA, the Hellgast, once more boils over into open conflict, the line separating right and wrong begins to crumble, forcing you to decide the type of hero you really are. Take the fight across the wide range of stunning environments. Engage enemies on your terms using advanced weapons, equipment, and abilities. Create and share multiplayer war zones in intense 24-player online. Yes, and this is here for a reason. Showing it off. If you if you can even see it, I know the table is black. This is black also. One player minimum hard drive space, 45 gigs. So it's a pretty big game. Which you have to download. I guess every game these days are going to have to be it. Rated M for mature blood, intense violence, and strong language. All right. There's no plastic on it because it's a GameStop thing. All they have is a little seal here that's going to be broke. That's it. The little plastic seal thing. Oh, look. That's nice. Uh, a seven-day trial to the PlayStation Plus. Sweet. I did, I did not know that was in there. Uh, he had the disc and a separate little thing. All right. Yeah, there's no manual, of course. Code's not on it. All right, we're good. All right, and here's the disc. There's the disc right there. Same as the front of the case. And y'all can look forward to a unboxing video next week, which will be a surprise, because that's one of the games I pre-ordered. The one before that was actually Infamous Second Son, which comes out in two months from two days ago. And I pre-ordered it because it helped with getting this. So... Thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go hook this sucker up. It's still a little, it's, it's a little heavy. You know what? I want to do a mini review here. Out of this, Xbox One, the games, Dead Rising Three, probably the best of the six games I owned up until. I'm gonna get back down to the level here. Basically, Dead Rising Three was one of the best of the six games I owned. Pretty good. Surprisingly good, uh, but once you beat it the second time, it just got boring because I had my character maxed out. He punched someone, they flew across the screen. Uh, Assassin's Creed 4 is still not really an assassin game. It's more of a pirate game. A fun pirate game. It was the second best. Need for Speed Rivals, I didn't get into it. I didn't like it. Leave it at that. Son of Rome, combat got old. It got boring. I stopped like midway through the game. Marvel, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, it was cool, but the puzzles, they have way too many puzzles. Way too many puzzles. And the reason why I'm standing up, because I, I can't do that. That's what, four games? Uh, what was the other ones? Uh, da, 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 da. Call of Duty Ghost, I didn't do a review of it. It's same Call of Duty, it's almost, Call of Duty is Call of Duty. Call of Duty is almost dead anyway. It really is. Alright, and the last game, what was it? Do, 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 do I forgot. Oh well, <laughs> that'll be it. All right. Oh, there's a uh, downloads content games. Uh, kills uh, Killer Instinct. It seemed like once a month or something they switched to what character you play as. Cool game and everything, but I wouldn't buy characters. They need just make. They do have it to where you buy the buy season pass. You get all the characters. Spartan Ops or not Spartan Ops. Spartan Assault. Good game overall. Top down shooter. Pretty cool. I didn't play it that much, but it was it was alright. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. As I said, thank y'all for watching. I'm going to hook this thing up and start playing. And I'll see y'all in the next unboxing video. See ya.